words. Those who created the language of men were wise. Each important word is a key that opens the door of the awakening for us. Listen and try to understand. <coughs> Arian? No, you should say Ari Om. Ari means energy, and Om is the call to bring everything together. So, Ari Om means energy gathered together. Whose energy? The energy of what? Let's look at the legacy of the universe. <clears throat> Let's look at the birth of Maisha. I'm gonna go ahead and drink some... I have a feeling we're gonna be talking a lot here. I will say, Dome and Dong, you have be please be mindful. Don't ask silly questions. If you do ask silly questions, I will have, a, I could have illusion stop you and block your chat privileges if you don't. If you're like going to ask really really silly questions that ha that you should know the answer to. But so far, it's okay. The questions you've asked aren't, aren't too bad, except the Doraemon one. Why would you ask the Doraemon question? Don't be silly. Anyway. <coughs> In the beginning, there was nothing but the Great Void. You could even say that this void didn't exist. From this void, an awareness suddenly emerged. Something said, I am. The first consciousness in the universe had sprung into existence. And this is how the goddess, Maisha, came to be. Oh, it reminds me a lot of the... A little... I guess it's almost like a Big Bang. It almost reminds me of the Christian God, but I guess not really because the Christian God didn't kind of form into existence. Okay, hey, anyway, sorry. Let's let's continue on. I'm going to don't contrast origin stories. <coughs> she was the ultimate creative power. She had the ability to create or destroy in an instant entire universes. Maisha is both the beginning and the end. Can you imagine the beings, the problems such a being had? Uh, yes, this is the philosophy of how the world was created. Yes, it's interesting that both a god that's the beginning and the end reflects also like, I mean, like I myself am Christian, so I'm very familiar with like the some the theology, and like God himself claims to be both the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. It's very um connect. It's very similar. It's kind of similar to that. It's very interesting. But he but their god was never born, so that's why that's the only that's the difference. But anyway, let's continue on. And more female goddesses I know, right? We're just dealing with these all the time. In our various games. No, the game was not made by Capcom. It was made in Africa by an African company. So it was not made in Japan. So that's why we said the game's not Japanese, Domindan. Pay attention. Capcom is in Japan. From the moment she was born, she was filled with questions about her own potential. Each question led to another. The goddess ended up being confused by her own power. The mother of life was confused? How is that possible? If you look at the water of a river, and every drop of water sends back a different reflection. How will you know who you really are? That was what the goddess experienced, confronted with her own power. <clears throat> As her confusion gradually increased, Maisha generated energy around her that was in sync with her state of mind, the pre-universe. The pre-universe was a huge energy-filled melting pot of all the mingled possibilities of chaos. An ever-rolling mix. Ever-roiling? Oh, sorry. I was just reading that. An ever-rolling mix of all the possibilities which swiftly come into being and then blink out of existence again. An individual can be paralyzed by their own fears. The original goddess went through a similar experience with this pre-universe. 
as the prey universe grew bigger, to the point where it almost overwhelmed her, Maisha instinctively came to the conclusion that she could find peace if she were able to speak to a being like herself. Thence came her salvation. Out of this need to escape her solitude, she divided into two beings without realizing it. Each of the two halves also wished to no longer be alone, and then divided in turn. This process of division sped up into fractions of a second, and before long, there was a vast number of little Maishas. This was the birth of, Ka, of the Ka, the birth of souls. The pre-universe and the energy from the countless possibilities mixed up together was stabilized and divided among them. And, oh wait, hold on a second. And? Oh, I think I read, they, they wrote this wrong. Please, people. Darn you, translators. The pre-universe, the energy from the countless possibilities mixed up together, was stabilized and divided among the cars. This dormant energy is still all around us. <laughs> Excuse me. Each soul seeking its own path is like the original confused Maisha. The Ka then attracts and captures stable particles of the pre-universe. It is the movement of energy that we call the Aryan. Hmm, interesting. So sound like pulling yourself together. <gasps> Incredible! Aryan is thus an energy that is purely existential. That's the reason why it reacts only to the moods and states of mind of the Aryanics. There's still what one thing I don't understand though. What is the link with our ancestors and the legacy? Throughout our entire lives, our Ka intermingles and comes to understand small pieces of the pre-universe. The more you use an Aryan, the easier it is for you to use it. Let's see. Oh, hmm. I guess of why he becomes stronger. When our Ka, our Ka loses all of its vital energy, we die and become observational beings. We are almost fused with the stabilized pre-universe. Oh, I like, I like the little illustrations there about what happens when you die. The stabilized pre-universe, could it be the Great Veil, of course? Yes, my brother. The Great Veil is the stabilized pre-universe. The connection between your Ka and that of an ancestor grants you access to particles of Aryan which are in sync with the state of your mind. Oh, I see. <coughs> I see, so of course those are the two legacies we have access to. You can therefore collect the energy far more quickly than that would have taken you several lifetimes. But Lincoln Linking to yourself to an ancestor, you literally awaken them from their sleep. During an awakening, you synchronize your inner vision with that of an ancestor. You see things through the same eyes, and you can see through the Great Veil, and even communicate with them. Oh. But all this only happens depending on who you are. It's always your state of mind and the way you see the world that triggers the Aryan and links you to the elders. Oh, it's interesting, so you have to be in the right state. The Aryanic Pilgrimage. I now understand better what Ju Nama was expa explaining to me in Figuil. So I must work on who I am, but above all, on how I see the world in order to receive my legacy. What is that picture? I don't want to explain. That's just, that's gonna take too long. If you wanted to know what the picture was, you have to read the text. Or listen to what I was reading about, because that's basically it's just explained about the world creation. Uh, I don't know about you got you guys, but I think we've done quite a lot for today. We ought to get some rest. <laughs> You're right, every day. We ought to get some rest. My father will tell us more when you reach Solaris Lituba. The Aryan has more implications than you think. 
Ori Om Griot. We got another um, achievement. I'm gonna save out here because I don't. I'm not gonna fight that time. Kawasawa. Let's go to Solaris Latuba now. Alright, now we're here. <coughs> Boah, I'm home at last. Huh, it really is it's really beautiful here. Huh, back home. I thought you I thought you were from here from here when you helped us at the port of Lang Lango Boanga. Uh actually I was coming back from my pilgrimage on the continent of Ka Boanga. It's been a long time since I last ate a nice meal prepared by Ma Man Manding. Huh, is that your mom? Is that your mom? Mom? I imagine she's a pretty good cook. I'd gladly borrow, borrow some recipes from her. Haha, <laughs> we very hurry then. My brothers have a tendency to eat everything up. Huh, no! No! Pa! Ma! Will it be the same everywhere we go? Aniki! How could this happen? We should bury them. That's all we can do now. So we find. You see me. May your cause be appeased on the other side of the Great Veil. Vale. Uh, are we did as you said, but are you sure we shouldn't bury them in the normal way? A man must take his leave in the same way that he came. The Griots never bury their dead. We put them in the fetal position, just as they were in their mother's belly. My little brother and sisters are not among the victims. I hope they're all okay. I must go and look for them and find the people who did this. We will help you with your brothers and sisters. Do you think what, that what happened here is connected to the infected men we fought at the port? Do you want to send Link to download this game? No, you cannot do that, Domindang, for the hundredth time. You can get this Twitch account in trouble if you do that. He's- uh, at least you're asking permission, which is better than just posting it. Cause it's kind of important. This is a- Twitch is a US site and they're very, very, um, strict on these kind of things. Anyway. Do you think that what happened here is connected to the infected men we fought at the port? Explain to us what is happening with the soldiers on this continent. We've already seen that on Isal. The man who killed King Mankar used the same dark energy. The Ne'ari is on Isal? <sighs> the situation is more serious than the Chief Griot thought. I must go to the city of Wasal as a matter of the utmost urgency. We might be able to help you if you tell us what's going on. I would like to, but I can't for the time being. <coughs> Excuse me. Certain things must remain known only by the circle of Kulu Griots. I would understand if our paths were to div diverge here. You have your city to save. Mm. The king and queen of Zama never let their friends down. We will help you find your little brothers. I am eternally grateful, brother and sister of Zama. It's a pity you didn't get to meet my parents. They would have really liked you. Let's go to the city of Wasal. We'll get a better idea of what's happening once we're there. Oh. I like how we're like, we made it all the way here. Oh, nobody here. Everyone's dead. 
Is there anything we can get from the house before we go? Efudu Solaris. Wonder who did this? Why would they kill? We got some pawpaw and the Sanja. There's nothing else we can get in here. I wonder what the pawpaw, hmm. I wonder if I can use it. Oh, I guess it's equipment, so let's see. The Sanja. Is this better? Yes, it is in every way. I'd rather have her have the Sanja. The Sanja. O'Neill bracelets. My AP max increases my max. It lowers her defense. Who cares? Yeah, I don't want to lower her defense too much lower. Oops. Um, let's see. Is there anything AP max? Oh, that's okay. The Manyang Talon. I actually would like to use this one. My AP is always really low. Yeah. Manyang Feet. Uh, the rest kind of suck, so. We say goodbye to Solaris in the tuba. <coughs> the city of Wasau is northeast of here. How are we going to cross the sea? I've got a small boat we can use at the jetties and ports of the region. Traveling with the raft. When you arrive at a jetty or a port, you can use a raft to travel around on the water. Once you're there, press A to board your raft. Once you have boarded your raft, you can move in any direction using the left stick. The RT or LT, use the L RT or LT to use the camera zoom. The right stick allows you to move, move the raft. Oh, things. Oh, I haven't checked in a while, so that's why. But we got some new stuff. That's why I know this. Because most of the time we've been getting like normal stuff. Oh well. When you arrive at a jetty or a port on your raft, you can either press A to tie the boat up and move about in world map mode. Or press X to teleport to the area indicated. Wait, what? I see. Okay. Well, that could be useful. Take this raft from La Lanco Boana Port. No, I'm not going to fight these things. Let's take a raft. Wee, I like rafts. They're cool. What's over here? Secret area. Oh. I accidentally uh, queued the fight. But... Raft. 
Oh, what's this? I don't know what this area is. Zama's all the way over there, so we're not going to be able to get there for now. I can go everywhere. No, I can't. I only... What? What does that have to do with Flappy Bird? Why are you talking about Flappy Bird? What did I tell you about not talking about the game? Lango Boja. Lanko Boja means the door of the Bojas. Okay. I'm a Boja. I've just visited Wasal to see how the Wangas are getting on with the Isals. The Bojas come through here to get to the rest of the continent. I'm just curious about what's going on here. I'll hang I hang about here to see the Bojas who come to this continent. Perhaps I'll find the man of my dreams. Okay. Thanks, lady. I hope the creatures represented by these statues are no longer in the area. Hey, wait, aren't you the... Oh, never mind. I'm not going to deal with you. Oh, I can get through here perfectly fine. Where does this go? I can't do anything here, apparently. I'm not going to go fight anything here, just in case. Huh, I guess I can't do anything over here. Yeah, Bojas live... This is the Boja continent. They live in Wasal. Yes, that is a beautiful... A beautiful river. Nice. Where's this? So yeah, the raft can't go past a certain point. That's interesting. Lango Isal. Where's this? Don't fall over in the water if you can help it. Lango Isao means the door of the Isaos. The work never stops here. This is the port which supplies everyone with Arunite. There doesn't seem like any much I can do here. I'm just exploring around, seeing what's available. Kondo Beach. Kondo Beach. Oh, the bunny doesn't want to watch the stream with you. She jumped away. Oh, bunny. Can't do much in that beach right now. Where is this going? Tompara Beach. Oh, don't worry. I understood. Illusion Queen. You and your bunnies. I'm sorry guys, I'm just exploring the town. That's Lanho Boanga again. Ne Karo. Huh, that's an interesting place.
Am I controlling a woman? No. Where does this go? <laughs> He's like, we shouldn't go in there. The soldiers who attacked us come from here. We should pick up more details in the city of Wasal to the north. <laughs> He's like, you shouldn't go there. <laughs> That's pretty funny that you can actually visit the area if you want. So I have a feeling you're going to head there very soon. Yeah, East Sal is over here, so you can't reach there yet. Right now. The real raft won't go that far. Ibage Beach. There's nothing seem to be anything there. Yeah. I'm not fighting you. I think that just means you can use any LT but command to bring her out. Ah, oh, excuse me. What's this? Port Lango Wanga. We have a few problems with the Wangas when they come this way. The main city is in the middle of this island. Hello, young folks. You're a couple who are young warriors, aren't you? Rodin Jobat. I suppose you could say that, and you are. Oh, of course. My name is Rodin Joubert. Haha, <laughs> French name. I'm a messenger representative of Bloem Fontaine. I'm Irene Koryodan, and this is my husband, Enzo Koryodan. Sorry, we don't know this Bloem Fontaine city. Fontaine city. Uh, that seems to be, be the case around here. Our island developed in isolation from your continents. Very few people seem to know of our existence here, and that seems to suit the authorities on my island. Also, it makes my life easier when it comes to studying what you call the Aryan. You don't use any Aryan in your city? No, clearly not. I don't know who Rodain is. Or Rodain. I don't... I know, you're just like, what, Rodain? I don't know who he is. I just met him. No, clearly not. But from what I could see, you seem... You really seem to insist very strongly on this belief across your continents. I've had to see... Had the opportunity to see one of your Orionics at work. And I still wonder what technological trickery you used to manage that. Mm. Mm. Don't tell me I hope to find this out for myself. That won't be too hard, I think. There are the Aryanites, of course, but it isn't... Oh, yes, those t stones. We tend to use them as jewelry where I come from. Some cranks claim that they have therapeutic qualities, but, well, nothing has been found to support that. Uh oh, oh well, our world is much larger than I had ever imagined. In any case, I hope what you're looking for. Thank you, farewell. Goodbye. Oh, what a weirdo. I feel like he kind of represents the West. Salutations. <laughs> the Western feel or like, oh, this stuff, they must be doing something. He's very, he's very science focused. I've come from Wanga. I don't know whether to stay or go to Isao. This is one of the most beautiful ports of Wasao and one of the nicest ports in the whole world in my, in my opinion. Huh. Eight more sacks to carry and it's my and it's my break. This is Port Lango Wanga. We're the ones who run all the training with the northern Wangas. Well I think that's all I can do for now. 